Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and tonight we are going to be working in Lumber Tycoon 2. And as you can see, I have fixed the doors again. <laughs> so this has been a very long process. Uh, I am playing in a private server tonight. I apologize, but there was just way too much lag last night. And I think I've corrected it. I've restarted my computer. I've done all kinds of updates. I removed two of the monitors. I'm playing straight off my laptop. I've got the hard, the, the sorry, the uh, graphics card kicked up full notch. So this thing, it shouldn't be having any problems. I'm looking at frame rates right now. We look great. Um, so yeah, this is just going to be pure build, 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 build. So I've already got those three in place, ready to go. So I need to go lower lower and lower and now I can just move these straight up and in place here we go oh, excuse me oh, oh itchy nose uh, thank you everyone that joined me on the uh, YouTube stream it was supposed to be a you now stream but turned out to be wrong uh, so that I will have to figure out and it still turned out to be a really good stream Huge shout out to Rev Prodigy, $50 donation. Oh my gosh, dude. Like, I hope you didn't get in trouble for that and like made sure it was okay to donate that much. Wow, that was, that was incredible. So now that that's over and done with, we are going to keep going and going, going. And, oh, no, I don't want to move. And uh, this is, I'm going to try and speed build. So, um, I know a lot of you have asked that I do um, time lapses on these, but I don't think... Oh no, what happened? Oh, I'm going to have to reload. Darn it. It always does it on the middle doors. Alright, mm, that's okay. So I hit B, as you saw right there, but it didn't work correctly. And I don't know what's going on with it, but whenever you move a door and then you say, oh, never mind, B, and put it back, and it's not there, it's still there on the server side, but my client didn't render it for some reason, so anyhow. Um, yeah. That's going to be a huge reload. What was I saying before this? Um, I'm going to start trying to do a YouNow stream um, per night, and it's going to be strictly scripting. It's just going to be scripting videos. And it's not going to be like tutorial videos, it's literally going to be me playing around with things that I want to learn about or things that I want to do inside uh, Lua scripting on Roblox. So I have ideas for um, like a Lumber Tech into radio station. So like you have like a little handheld radio and you can switch in between all the different songs and play it locally on your your machine if you wanted to. Uh, all the songs inside Lumber Tech into are copyright free or they are royalty free. So um, or they are Creative Commons. Creative Commons means that you have to mention them, and I will show you where they are mentioned in just a moment. Oh, loading, loading, loading. Oh, it took forever. Okay, that's not, that's not bad, actually. That was actually a really fast load time. Am I going to be on my base, or do I need to move? Oh, gosh. Oh, yep, I'm on my base. Move, move, move. Get trapped inside the YouTube sign again. Somebody walked by the other day and they're like, Code, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just hanging out. And I was like sideways in, in the sign. Mm. Tom! Tom! Yes? Do you see what I'm building over here? Yes. Uh, have you seen anything like that before? Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Fine, Tom. Okay, so back to work. <laughs> oh, that's getting kind of glitchy. Let's move that over here. Wonder what that was glitching on. Okay. Move it, code. You got things to do. And uh huge shout out to Grammy. Thank you for storing all the uh all the doors on your base for me while I get some other doors cleaned up and out of the way. I don't know how many doors I'm gonna need, um, but I will take all the doors once uh once I get room. <laughs> or if Grammy just wants to start placing them on my base, that's cool too. But I have um Hold on, let's see if the reload worked. Because if you reload, yeah, they all attached. Sweet. And that one as well, good. Um, zoom out a little bit, okay, cool. So the reason I use the yellow is just because it stands out more. Somebody was asking why why use the, the precious um, wood? Because yellow is the, okay, what's going on here? Closed door, there we go, 
Sweet. That one's kind of off-centered. Um, it's just because it stands out. Like, it, it will be an easier target to hit once I get up higher on the, uh, the doors. And, uh, if you also notice, I am moving in the middle doors because they are the easiest, or like, I can reach all the other doors from the middle doors. So, there we go. Middle doors. Sounds like the name of a game. Middle doors. One, two, three. By the way, if you've not uh, already figured it out, I do release two videos per day. Or at least I try. Now, uh, there are some exceptions to the rule whenever there's like parties going on or we've got uh, get-togethers or Girl Scouts, stuff like that. So, um, when that happens, I tr still try and produce two videos, but we know that life comes first. Oh gosh, did I place that in the right spot? I hope so. Alright, let's try another one. Is this door open or closed? That door's open. Let's go ahead and close that door. That's a double door. Okay. Don't know what happened there. Crazy. Okay, get this one right in between there. Come on, you. Perfect. Now we open, open, open. This is going to be a while. Like, I'm not even... Am I even off my base yet? With the doors? Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. Move. B. E. Move. B. I found if I go slower on that part, then I don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, these, not so much, because I've got more of these if I need. But having that door in the right alignment and in place really helps. I should just have a switch set up for these bottom ones. Ooh. Ooh, that's an idea. No, 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 no. Don't experiment, code. Just get it done. Get it done. Stay on task. My ADHD mind's taking over. It's like, ooh, I could do this. I should, I should be able to do this. I was thinking of a, uh, what if I had a pressure plate at the bottom of the middle one? So every time I jumped down, it would just go ahead and automatically open the doors for me. And then I could just start placing new doors. And then I'd jump on another button just before I climbed up and it would open up all the doors. Or do the inverse of all the doors. That's a thought. And those thoughts turn into ideas. And those ideas turn into reality. Dreams. I believe in them. By the way, have you ever uh, figured something out in your dreams? Like, um, there used to be a game called San Francisco Rush. And... Um, you would find these hidden keys all around the place. This is for Nintendo 64 back in like 1998, 96, something like that. Anyhow, I fell asleep one night after playing this game. And I remember there was a bridge. And I had had a dream that I didn't have enough speed to clear the bridge. Because it, it had a gap in the middle. And what happened was I dreamt because well like if you've ever done anything inside dreams where it requires speed like a run or a fight or some kind of fast motion you feel like you're just like this in slow-mo so uh, I don't know if that happens to everybody there's only been a couple of dreams where I actually move fast but that happened to me in the game I had a dream that I was playing the game and I went to go do that jump and in slow-mo I fell straight down off the top of the bridge, like, and here's the edge, and I just fell right there. But I had a dream that I'd fell right there, and I backed up because there was a second bridge underneath it. And I don't know why, but after I woke up the next day, I went and I tried that. I slowed down, and sure enough, the physics were just right that if I just moved, it would do this flip. It landed on its wheels. I backed up, and there was a key. So. I had figured out where the hidden key was inside my dreams. Comment down below if you have ever had that kind of thing happen to you. Did I move all these doors? I did. I did. I'm good. Because I moved all the blocks by now. Alright, let's go ahead and move these. Open. Open. 
open. Yay. We're actually making a lot of progress tonight. Wow. Go code. Hashtag progression. Just kidding. You don't have to hashtag that. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go. Uh, by the way, I still accept fan art. If you if you draw fan art or if you have an interest of doing fan art, um, just send it to my Twitter at code primate, and I will accept it and save it to my fan art folder. I have a little collection of everybody's fan art. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And let's go here, move, slowly code, move. This is the this is the vital part that we want to move slow on. Good, okay. And these don't really, doesn't really matter. We can, we can move fast on these. Good. This is gonna be very repetitive once we get really high up there. In fact, I don't, I don't know if I can, oh, that's gonna be really repetitive, up and down, up and down. So, um, if we look at the angle, we're only out about right here, if that. We need to go all the way over to there. <sighs> How many videos is this so far? This is like 10 videos of gold doors. Stop talking code, get it done. Okay, fine, I'm moving. I will start doing some more of this off camera uh, over the weekends, stuff like that. Try and get the doors lined up and ready to go. Let's just do this. Let's do this as fast as we can. Go, go, go. I want to make sure it's accurately. As accurate as I can. There we go. And this one. Come on, come on, come on up there. Good. And yeah, I like the pressure plate idea. I really like the pressure plate idea. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna hook that up. Oh wait, wait, no, I'm gonna move these in place first. Move these in place so they don't get stuck in some weird position. Move B. Move B. Move B. Whew. Kinda redundant. Very redundant. I don't need chat. I'm all by myself. And it is by choice. It's just by choice. Because I needed to get these corrected and done. And without the lag. I love playing with you guys. But the lag, like, I can't... I can't progress as fast as I need to. With um, all the fans and everything else. I love you guys. Um, but I really want to pay, like, more attention to you if I'm going to be playing. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do... Um, I need a pressure plate. Uh, I've already got two wires. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna need six. And one inverter? No. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, okay, we can do this. So let's go look for some wires. Wires and inverters, wires and inverters. <clears throat> Are we good with the BCD? Can I break it down? I think I think we're good with it, because um, this is this is an experiment lab, and we did really good with the experimentation on this thing. I mean, it's wonderful. If you've not seen this video, go back and check it out. It's a BCD binary to decimal calculator, and I'm just I'm gonna start pulling the wires off here first. That way, if I do want to just hook it back up, I can. Um, oh gosh, where am I putting these? I got two, that was three. <clears throat> and four. By the way, what I'm doing is I'm actually aiming up there. I'll place them later. Five. Six. And because I'm always short one, I'll add one more. Oh, seven. Just so you know, the um, 
the BCD logic itself is not messed up because that all takes place like these are all connections to the uh, to these here so here is the actual output and these were just connections to the uh, to the display so we're still good uh, why not one more one more Uh oh, something was interrupting the path. There we go, cool. Now pressure plates, pressure plates. Gonna grab one, pressure plate. Oh, no, 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 I need a switch, don't I? Because uh, otherwise I would have to build a flip flop, a flip flop. And I've already got, uh, I've got what I need. So we're gonna hop up there, then I'm going to set everything up on those bottom wires by the way the bottom the, the wires will not stay there they will um, be used just for the build I already hear a bunch of people commenting code you can't do that because the wires are gonna be in the way of your tires it's okay uh, okay let's do this move um, Rotate, turn. Let's go here and move. We're gonna go right here. No. Hmm. Rotate. We're gonna go right here. I think that might work. Maybe. So, um, let's hook up the first. Th Three and the inverse, the invert, inverted. Oh man, it's kind of hard to get in there. So you go to here. Finished. Your output is the opposite input. <clears throat> Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What in the world? <laughs> yes, yes, that is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> I forgot. The input is on this side, so the doors flop towards us. Oh, gosh. Silly me. Silly me. Okay. Oh, now it's going to be like an obstacle course trying to get up there. <gasps> you could use those in obstacle courses. That would be awesome. I would love to see an automated obstacle course with flipping doors. Like flip-flop doors. Flip-flop, flip-flop. Oh, no. Am I going to be able to make it? Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. This episode just got interesting. <laughs> Not that it wasn't interesting before, I'm just saying. Now it's like a like a parkour kind of <gasps> hobby. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I already know what the thumbnail is gonna be for this. That's gonna be awesome. Oh gosh. Am, am I gonna be able to get past this thing? Oh gosh. How is it? It's coming down and hitting the inverted. Oh man. Okay. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh gosh. Oh, there's just a thin area to walk on. Oh man. Oh, ow. Ow, it's spanking me. <laughs> on my bottom. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. You got this code. You got this. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Safe. <laughs> Kinda. Toggle lever. Toggle lever. Toggle lever. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Let's move this. Because that's... Not in a good spot. Uh, let's see. 
rotate, rotate, rotate. Let's put it right here. That way it's on the opposite side. It will push the doors that direction. Oh. We'll move this to right here. And then that way I can just, I can work off these. Um, let's go here to here. Finished. I'll just double check, make sure it turns on and off. Good. And now this one, you are going to go from here to here. Finished. So, open. Sweet. Oh, uh, where's those wires? There they are. Let's move, move this wire. I'm just going to hook them all up right here. You, oh, nil. You go to here. Finished. And get right up to the edge. Grab the next wire. Move. You are going to here. Finished. So this should turn on and open all the doors that direction. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. There it goes. Sweet. And now the opposite is going to be done with the invert switch. And we'll do it while the doors are down. That way we can tell where the doors are. Or which direction they're going. There's one. I know that worked. Come on. Okay. I'm not going to reload it again, though. Let's just do it again. Right here. To here. Finished. There we are. See? I told you I always need that one extra wire. Now, that wire is still there, but I don't know if it's conducting electricity or if it's even sending signal. So, finished. Now, how much time are we at? Oh, we're at 22 minutes. Okay, cool. So if I hit this switch, the invert's going to go on the doors and lift them all up. Yay. So that is awesome. Not too much of a delay there. I like it. Now, let's see where they're at. Um... Let's see, did we line up? Yep, we lined up the last one. So we're ready for the next set of doors. And here we go. Here we are. Move. Oh, 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 uh oh. Bro, bro, bro. I forgot. I rotated and twisted and did all kinds of things. Okay. Rotate, turn, rotate, turn. There we go. Okay, now we're set. There's one. And these posts are kind of in the way now. So let's move you off to the side here. It'd be like a, I don't know, um, cross beams. Cross beams, yeah, that's it. Cross beams. There we go. Next door. to jump over the wire. No. Go up one. Go up one. Please go up one. No, nope, right there. Come on. Come on. That's good. I think the middle one's giving me problems. I can't tell. Let's move there. Whoa, 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 whoa. And come on down. Good. Now we're ready to flippy flop. Jump up the middle. Oh, this is going to be so much quicker. Or not. <laughs> Time wasted by falling down. Thank you, gravity. 
I appreciate you. B. Move this one. Move. A B. Move. This one. A B. Now I can move these in place. There we are. We're back on track. Thank you for joining me live. That's not live. Uh, by the way, somebody asked me on stream again, like, why aren't you playing Lumber? And that's because I do not stream Lumber live. Um, I don't, I don't think it's fair. Because <clears throat> only, um, only four people would be able to join me on public servers. Five people if I did um, private servers. So I just don't think that's fair at all. That's why I live stream on like Meep City and big games that have lots of people. That's why I always leave like 50 people in my games. Uh, that was good. Come on. These are going to get harder, harder and harder to aim the higher we get. We may have to make another platform up there at the top. Just tie our wire into the bottom of it. We could we could do that, right? Like create a platform halfway up the base. Yeah, we could do that. We don't need to right now because I'm I'm still doing okay with the uh, the build as it is. I made a lot of progress tonight. Progress for the builds. Oh, hold on. I need to do. Move, B, move, B, move, B, there we go, now we can move these, come on, uh, come on, come on, come, come on, oh, there we go, okay, I just wasn't close to it, oh. and switch. I love how fast that is. That is just amazing to me. All right, come out a little ways and oh, the sun's in my eyes. Oh, I can't see. Solar flares. Corona. Let's go here. Thank goodness I got my approved solar glasses on. I'm just kidding. They're aviator glasses. They're not even approved for looking at the sun normally. Do, 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 do. Uh, something that was kind of funny was uh, the Google search history analytics kind of thing that uh, before the eclipse there was a whole bunch of searches for solar eclipse and then right after like after the eclipse there was a bunch of searches for my eyes hurt. <laughs> like they, <laughs> they were inversely. Wow. Just saying. All right, let's go here. Here. Come on, come on. There we are, good. This is, this is going great. We are making so much progress. I've still got so many doors, you guys. So many doors. Hang tight.
my wife was very excited. She found a new recipe for um, jello worms. Uh, basically, you take a whole bunch of bindi straws or a whole bunch of straws and you place uh, your gelatin mix into it. And then you blow, like after it settles, you blow out all the, uh, the strands and it turns into jello worms for Halloween. So, she was super excited. And like I always say, I know you guys get frustrated that like, took the time out but do that and that's also one of the reasons that I don't edit is so you guys see I take time out and I wait and I listen and that's what you should do it's your family if your mom comes into your room and you're in the middle of playing a video game pause it when you're out at the grocery store this is one of my big big pet peeves I watch people on their cell phones as they're trying to pay at the cashier and they won't hang up. Just hang up the phone or tell the person, hey, hold on a second, I need to speak with the cashier because it's rude if you don't. Uh, same thing, when the waitress or the waiter comes to your table, pause your game, pause your phone, hang on, put them down, order your food. Make sure that your order is, like you're ready to order by the time they come common courtesy to others around you it's it's not hard but it's one of the most basic things that everyone forgets and I, f I forget it sometimes but when you're at the dinner table make sure you put your phone away and you talk to your family now I understand that like I can get distracted by Twitter I can get distracted by YouTube analytics. I can get distracted by all kinds of stuff. Funny cat videos. Oh no! You didn't! But that's... That's okay. It's okay to get distracted every once in a while. But give common courtesy. Okay? I think that's it for tonight. Um, yeah, we made a lot of progress. Well, in comparison to what we messed up before and what I've corrected, I think this is going to be one epic build. And I, like I said, I will get help to do the builds and to get the stuff going and I will do more off camera just to try and get through it so you guys aren't watching me build a door for the next two, three months. But anyhow, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, and as always, I love you guys very much. Uh, if you'd like one of those awesome um, Hello Juniper t-shirts, that's in the description as well. Um, yeah, those are just the call-outs that I do at the very end of the videos. You don't have to do any of that. That is your choice. You have the choice to subscribe, not subscribe, like, dislike. It's your choice. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you need or have to do something because you have a choice. Thank you for making this night special for me. And thank you for being here. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, I forgot to... I, I, I should really get set up for the outro before, like, building up to the outro. And then I could be like, bye. Thank you.